Hello, my brothers and sisters. Hello, my parish. After now a very, very long hot summer break, it's about time for a new serial. This time I will tell you the funny history of how and what happened after Europe became Christian. I will call this serial the funny religious history of West Europe. You can watch in the playlist Brother Dominic Serials on my channel page my older serials like What Religion to Choose for My Children, uh, Masturbation in Religion and Philosophy, and The Christianization of the Vikings and Scandinavia. So with now a lot more experience this will be also a lot more funny but also as much educational than before. Have fun and let's start now with part number one. Ne mini que ni que ni que s'en allait tout simplement au Dieu, pauvre et chantant. En tout chemin, en tout lieu, il ne parle que du bon Dieu, il ne parle que du bon Dieu. Brothers and sisters, Welcome to part one of the funny religious history of West Europe. Dear Parish, today we're going to clear up why we are the so-called Christian Occident. Why we are the Occidental Christian culture or also the evening land, how we call it here. So maybe this is because in our countries cultural like theater, cabaret, comedy club and opera happens always in the evening. So in the Orient, in the morning land, they have maybe more matinees or morning representations. Well, the Muslim don't know very much about cabaret and satire. And this is because when he had to choose between minaret and cabaret, he chose the minaret. We are the Christian Western civilization, the accidental culture because of the Merovingian King and Frank ruler Clovis, the first son of Childerich. This Clovis himself, he was a god. And yes, this was possible to his time. It was possible to be human and as well to be a god. Look Caesar, he was also god and emperor. This was like a learned profession. You could learn to become a god. So, when you see, therefore, still today, at least for the Frenchmen, uh, so to behave as they were themselves gods is still a very big part of their national personality. Me? So, even me, when I come after a church meeting from my pub, everybody says, Oh my God, Brother Dominic, what are you pissed? Yeah. Uh, so now this is maybe the time to explain my accent. I am from Luxembourg and when God reserved and distributed the languages, he gave German to the Germans and Austrians, French to the French, Spanish to Latin America and Spain, and English to all those who were not able to learn a second language. Yeah, just as Luxembourgian, he had forgotten. And since there were no more languages to distribute, God said, you know what? Speak simply how I do. 
Clovis, even as a god, heard about that south there were something called Christianity. And he asked from some brochures and information material about this new tendency. So when he looked at those prospectors, he nearly died from laughing when he saw this uh, Jesus hanging on the cross. Well, yes, you have to see him as a strong Germanic Frank. So what, he said, this is a god. This starving freak on the cross is a god? If the sun looks like this, I don't even want to know how the father looks alike. This was nothing for us Germanics. We imagined our gods much more quiet and also far more robust. And we Germanic, we had also a far bigger choice. We had a god for every weekday. So Donar, Thunderday, Thursday, Freya on Friday, Thor on Saturday. Even today there is still the German folk of the Thorinians, which means the sons of Thor. So, you see, a religion with only one god, this was nothing for us. Now, also fact is that those monotheistic religions, Judaism, Islam and Christianity were invented in the desert. And this is also not a prodigy. So imagine only if you starve for a whole day on a pile of sand. I'm sure that every one of you would have similar ideas and such a religion everybody would be able to invent by himself as a single person. But here in the north, with such an abundant nature, with this huge biodiversity, with millions of animals and plant species and what not, this is not an invention from only one person. Our old religions were a teamwork, a whole development department has worked on our beautiful myth. Apart of all this, those monotheistic religions from the desert were absolutely not attractive for us because these are three bellicose religions. These religions cause trouble since they exist. Constantly something is blowing up. Yeah, which chants, pogroms, crusades, Israelis, Palestinian, Islamists, bombing. The other, look at Taoism, Buddhism, Shintoism. Quiet, you never hear from them. They are simply functioning. Like a Japanese car, a little boring, but very realable because they are constructed with a cool head. But those three from the desert, I think it has to do with the heat there. Come on, seriously. Making religion with over 50 degrees Celsius in the shade, you simply shouldn't it's too hot. I don't want to say directly that this monotheism are a heat damage of religious history, but look at you. When have you tried for the last time to mean a long conversation while sitting in the sauna? Those important religions from the desert to our region where it rains every day, it doesn't fit with us. 
This was the first part of the funny religious history of West Europe. Subscribe not to miss part 2 in a couple of days. This was Brother Dominic on Goxter's channel. Caress you and thank you very much.